we're uh, drawing uh, <coughs> today a small young reptile and we're trying to look at creating three-dimensional forms. So I've started off by using blocks here rather than linear outline and carefully go around the edge of the crocodile looking at areas in terms of cubes where we can locate certain things. So here I've got the eye, I've kind of blocked it in as you can see. As you can see here the head comes up and round and creating some almost like rectangular cubes here to cover that area underneath here also. And then getting onto the mouth, again the mouth is almost a long <coughs> rectangle petering off at the end. So we put that in. This is like curve here. Again another block around where the neck comes. We can kind of work out that it's going to be probably a couple of blocks here. Coming down here, there's a slight rise there, as you can see, down the main part of the body. Again, I'm careful to make sure that every aspect is contained. Again, looking at the leg, we can see it's a series of small rectangles but I'm putting them in as though they are actually rectangles so just reducing the animal to its simplest forms we can always in the next lesson uh, work on making these areas more subtle but to get the basics right to get the three dimensionality which artists like Michelangelo strove for you must start off with the empirical uh, the basics. Again, coming around here to the stomach area. Small blocks. I'm going to continue to draw this. Obviously the areas which are nearer to you I'm going to make it slightly darker. Like the eyes here. Put it in the eye. And the areas which are further away from you, in this case the eye here, we're going to make slightly lighter. So even small areas like the teeth could be small, tiny cubes. So we're looking at three dimensional depth. And this pattern continues uh, throughout the reptile's body. Again, looking there, darker areas, the cubes, because they're nearer to you, and as they fade away, they get lighter, creating some sort of perspective. Again, looking at the hind leg here, making sure to realize that you're looking at creating almost a kind of robotic shape just to begin to understand form. All great sculptures would have worked in this way. Michelangelo himself, primarily a sculptor, would have been so pleased to work in this kind of way. Might want to beam in a little bit here. So a quick look. See the beginnings of the three dimensional form. Just beam out slightly, move over a little bit, so 
just get the hind area done. Again, same principle applies. Looking at creating more blocks. Obviously, uh, this is a simplified, quick version, but obviously, as I said before, subtly you can build into this and create more detail. Obviously, the shading can follow then. I'll just beam back out. A little bit of shading on the torso here, following the cubes that we've created. And you can see we have in some ways created real three-dimensional form. Finally, just beaming to the top of the head here, where the nose is. Follow the contour lines, which were made by the cue boys around. At no time really have I used outline. I've just used the cue boys.